we're going to be reviewing the Poland Pro 5020 AV Chainsaw. But first, please be aware, I'm not a professional arborist. So when it comes to safety, you definitely need to read any product manual before using any power tools. Since the holidays just happened, I received a gift card to a local big box store. I won't necessarily say which one. Eh, has some orange colors to it though. So from there, I decided to go on a mission. And this mission was to find the most affordable and what I dare even say, acceptable performing chainsaw. All right, so where does one even start when trying to find a chainsaw at your local big box store? It's a great question. And I'll tell you, after some research, I settled on the Poland Pro 5020 AV, which is a 20 inch chainsaw. Now this, this chainsaw is powered by a 50cc two stroke engine. And on Poland's website, it actually indicates that it's equipped with what's called a oxy power engine. And it supposedly produces more power, creates lower emissions, and reduces fuel consumption. That's to be debated and we'll talk about that shortly. But I think overall, by and large, the best attribute of the Poland Pro chainsaw is the price. Right now, you can get that thing for $199. And I've even seen it on sale right now at a uh, non-big box store for $179.99. Now, you just really can't beat that price. It comes with a two-year limited warranty, which of course is very competitive based on the segment that you're looking at here. And, you know, I really wanted to see where the saw stacked up. So in my research, I created a comparison chart and you'll see that on your screen right now. For years, I've used a, a 16 inch still product. And, you know, I want to have to say, I found that it, the Poland Pro to be every bit as good as that little 16 inch still that I have out in my garage right now. In all fairness though, it's, it's really tough to compare uh, a 16 inch saw blade to a 20 inch blade and the properties of the, the saw itself. I will say there was one very nice feature and that was it came included with a hard case, which even some of these more pricey brands that are out there, when you look at the Still products or the Makita products um, or Husqvarna products, they don't necessarily come with a hard plastic box. And I did find that to be very useful, of course. So on my mission, there only appeared to be a few manufacturers out there that were offering that. And again, that was one of the driving factors, of course, with the actual specs of, of the engine and the specs of the saw itself that, that drove me in the direction of the Poland Pro product. Now let me demonstrate how to get the saw started. Up switch is move to the on position. Next, pull the choke lever out to the full choke position. And from there, slowly press the primer bulb six to 10 times and extend the starter rope approximately five. Move the choke lever halfway in, pull the starter rope again. Once the saw has started, allow the engine to warm up for 15 to 30 seconds. And then finally, you can fully push in that choke button and you're ready to get started. So as I noted earlier, the Poland Pro 5020 AV, it does come with a 20 inch bar. It's relatively able to make quick work of moderate sized pieces of wood. Um, and the overall weight I thought was very good. It comes in at a manageable 15.4 pounds. So for usage, as you're out there, depending upon how much time you are spending cutting a tree down, obviously the more weight that you have there, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be a little bit harder to, to handle as time goes on throughout your day. Um, but it does feel pretty solid while it's making cuts, I, I certainly have to say. 
I did notice it, it does not seem as fuel efficient as what is stated uh, on the company's website. And, you know, I actually went through three tanks of gas while I was out there uh, cutting down an oak tree that had been uh, already cut down uh, probably about six months ago and I just needed to clean everything up. Um, but of course, it really could come down to the fuel capacity of the tank. So, you know, based on the specs on this actual saw, uh, it indicates that right now it has a, a 15 ounce fuel tank, which of course is definitely smaller than some of the competitors that are out there. And uh, on that chart that I had earlier in the video, you can definitely see um, each competitor that is out there and what the applicable fuel tank size is too. Um, I do want to note, like all two-stroke engines, it runs on a gas-oil mixture, and uh, in the case of this product, it's a 40 to 1 mixture ratio. sized oak tree uh, as I just mentioned it had already been taken down a few months back and um, you know when I finished cutting up the bulk of the tree I decided that for the very first time I was going to try to attempt some hand milling uh, of the lumber of, of the wood that I had just previously cut up you might ask how it went eh okay verdict is still out there of course but I will say that the, the 50 cc engine that comes with this Poland Pro uh, saw you know, it, it produces a maximum speed of about 9,000 revs per minute. It seemed to struggle a little bit if you were going to set this up to any type of milling um, setup that you might have uh, that's out there. It seemed to struggle a little bit more on those types of cross cuts um, versus just a, a typical straight side to side um, cut that a normal person would be making, not trying to freehand, of course, any milling or, or anything of that nature. But I will say that it was definitely up to the challenge of traditional cutting that I think your every, everyday homeowner is really going to do uh, around their yard to clean up trees perhaps that have fallen in a storm or anything of that nature. So straight cuts absolutely had no problems whatsoever with the saw. I've read many reviews online where people report that, that the, the Poland Pro saw, the 5020, it uses an abundance of bar oil. And I wouldn't disagree with that comment. You know, from the moment that you start it up and you release the, uh, the chain brake, you can literally see the bar oil just flying right off of that chain. And ultimately, I think for the typical homeowner, who's not a professional, of course, and um, I think it's, it's like a built-in safety mechanism for the engine of the saw. No matter how hard or what type of wood species that you're out there trying to cut, a well-oiled bar is ultimately going to reduce stress on that engine. So some people, I think, in the reviews, as I mentioned, they thought it was kind of a, a negative detractor. I think for the average homeowner that's out there, just like perhaps me and, and you watching the video, I don't see it as a downside. You do have to be very cognizant, however, that it, it uses a lot of bar oil. And every single time you're going to start this up and you're going out there to work on a project and you're cutting up some lumber, uh, some trees rather, you definitely need to check that reservoir and ensure that it's up to snuff with the appropriate level of bar oil. So ultimately, what do I think? If you're looking for a chainsaw that's up to most tasks and it's going to be used in predominantly a residential setting, uh, I have to give it two thumbs up. I actually thought from a utility perspective that it worked very smoothly. Um, it cut very well, very effortlessly as I was going through everything. And ultimately I didn't have any problems from the initial setup and unboxing and getting it started for even the first time. Um, based on the engine size though, I would say and the available power, I can't see this being used long-term for any type of commercial purposes. Um, but you know, as I showed you earlier, there's a few other options at this price point. I myself, again, I did buy it, but if I had to do it all over, I would seriously consider purchasing the Poland Pro 5020 AV product. 
So thanks for visiting the channel. I really do appreciate you taking the time. I know there's a lot of content creators out there and you absolutely took the time to swing by here. So I hope you found the review to be informative and please leave your comments below. And also don't forget, hit the subscribe button. Although this is the first video on the channel, I do plan on posting on a weekly basis moving forward and it'll be involving all that content that I outlined at the beginning of this video. So until next time, good luck with all your DIY projects. Thanks.